What's going on everyone? Darkwater here and welcome back to City Skylines. We are back in the lovely little town of Waterford taking a look at Robin Park that we set up last time. We've the residential area filled itself out quite nicely. We've got our nice little park in there, our playground and our dog park. The mall has filled itself out quite nicely. We've got some shops going around. We've got a bunch of people hanging out at the mall. And uh, a lot of the skyscrapers are considerably lower over here. We've got a lot of parks for the residents nearby to hang out in. So Robin Park is doing okay. Traffic is... Traffic. Um, one of the things I did stumble across is we did unlock the Expo Center. And I'm thinking the Expo Center might work well down over here by the stadium. So that's going to have to take a little bit of doing to kind of squeeze it in here. So we're going to get rid of Birch Street for a second. And we're going to kind of get rid of that. And I think we're going to take out these guys as well. So let's grab the Expo Center. Are you going to sit nicely there? I think we're going to just drop it in right there. And so it could kind of share the parking lot with the stadium. If they're having any kind of championship, they can do some additional stuff over here. Uh, we've got some building availability on either side of that. Let's see what we could do about the rest of the area. I don't want to build along that avenue, however. That's... I just don't think is going to work. I mean, I, I'm tempted to come off of here. I don't know if I like the curve, however, but... Uh, give me... Grass line. Uh, there we go. And I kind of want to do grass line on those as well. And I think we'll just do some... Uh, identity commercial kind of around it. And along that road as well. Uh, we are not going to do any... Yeah, it can build there. I think that'll be fine. I mean, there's just a lot of traffic coming in off that already. I don't want to kind of overburden it too much. We do have a section here in the middle near Walker Street. And I'll be honest, don't know what I was doing here. But, I think we'll do some commercial on the edges. And we'll do some residential in the middle. I think that'll work. We can come in here, we can add a... A little bit of playground equipment kind of in this area here. Just build our own playground. I want this one a little bit on an angle there. Maybe a little bit of large playground equipment. Over in this area. I think will work well. And I think we'll just grab a couple of trees and kind of fill out the rest of this area there. As for here. I have that zoned, I do have it. Let's take this zoning out there. 
I think it might be time to add a metro. Okay, so we've got two loops going around, one in each direction. So we are going to go ahead and let that run, and we will see how things uh, start to go. We'll kind of fine tune things here at a couple of trees. a couple maybe a bench or two over here just kind of a nice little place to sit never mind it'll just get built by whatever is gonna get built in there But I would like to get a couple benches in. Cool. A couple benches so people can sit as they're maybe waiting on the uh, waiting on the subway there. Financial news with a interesting little clown head on it. If you say so. Uh, you can go, and you can go since there's not actually connections there. There we go. So we'll keep an eye on that, see if... See if we get some more people, uh... Looks like people are going down there. So... We'll have to wait. We've got 16 passengers. A bunch of people hanging out over here in the industrial area. Again, don't know how authentic it would be to have a subway stop within an, an industrial area like that. But we will see. We'll also see if this one helps kind of clean up some of the traffic that's running along uh, Jeremy Avenue. I really would have liked to put it closer to the bus stop. If we're being honest. I did change the size of the buses on line five. Uh, I got the articulated ones. So we got a lot more passengers on that one. Uh, can I just possible to just drag and move that? There we go. Just to get a bus stop closer down here, and there's just a giant mass of humanity coming over here to get on the bus. But instead, everybody's just going to take the subway, which, okay. Works for me. Uh, we've got the one by the mall over here. Uh, where'd the mall go? There it is. I've got quite a few people coming in there. So we'll keep an eye on that and see if that helps out traffic a little bit. In the meantime, the area over here has grown and filled out nicely. We've got still a bunch of traffic through here. Yeah. 
you guys are going. I was backing up onto the freeway a little bit. But it's not horrific. I'm still debating what I'm doing with this chunk of land, which is why it's open, just because traffic is... Traffic is this. <laughs> but let's jump over here and want to work a little bit in this area. We'll go ahead and we'll dezone all that. Get rid of... Can I, you know, get above ground? That'd be great. I'm gonna take a road in off of this intersection. Since it's already there, we'll go ahead and um straight up. I think we'll take it to here. I wanna do road here. Over here. Don't know if we'd necessarily need that little nubby road down there. But we'll take it across here and here. Head here. There we go. We'll move the elementary school kind of into this area. And I want to do kind of a mixture of some density residential kind of on the corner over here and I suppose we can move you to the center because nothing says educational fun like a crematorium next to your elementary school do that we've got a weird piece of non-zoning so take a path straight up through there turn off Snapping. There we go. Now I kind of want some low density stuff in here as well. And I'm almost tempted to do that size. I need a road in there. So it'd have to come down here. And we could just do a bunch of commercial, I guess. Well, that's even worse. Okay. We'll extend it to here. Whoa. Can I really not zone there? No, I can't. Okay. We'll do some low density commercial. Alternate a little bit. This is. Yeah. Okay. Want to make sure this is still Robin Park. Um. Again, I think I just want to do kind of some compact. Uh. Small amounts of housing through here. Uh, that's not... Maybe we'll do a park over there. And we can 
can do do that. Let's grab some low density residential. We'll come across like that. Commercial. Commercial. Residential. Half. And do I have any parks that'll fit in that? Small park? That is a massively small park. Small playground. Park with trees. Big. Large playground would almost fit there. What if we move the crematorium? Take out. That road. Uh, we'll do the crematorium here, I guess. Does that leave me enough space for a playground. No, not at that side. Have anything interesting? I mean, we can do a plaza, but that doesn't really fit in a uh, residential area. Where's the basketball hoop? Maybe we'll do the basketball hoop down here. Uh, let's get the rest of the zoning in here. And we'll go ahead and run things so that we can get some building going. Kind of want to put another sidewalk down here as well. But in that extra space, we can drop a... We can make our own little playground over here. A couple picnic baskets here and there. Get ourselves... A Couple benches for mom, dad, and grandma to sit here and watch their kids as they're playing on the equipment. Go ahead and put a trash can over here as well. What a nice little pavilion kind of over here on the corner. Place for people to play some chess. I mean, we could drop a nice flower bed in here. Which way does that? a hedge, but I don't necessarily feel I like that head. Ooh, we could add a sandbox. Just make sure the cats haven't been nearby. Can I... Can I, can I, can I pick you up? No? back and we will drop you in here back rotate you all the way around stairs are on the back we'll drop you right in there that works i like that and let's go ahead and 
fill in a little bit of trees. And how about some small bush? Bushes over on the corner there. Could add a few over here as well. Kind of make sure that it all kind of flows together. And actually, we can. And we realized the uh, crematorium is just kind of spraying ash just into the air, but okay. But I think having the, like, some of the higher density apartments and then just slowly kind of transitioning into the housing before we get into kind of the larger subdivisions here. I think a lot of this is going to end up being trees. We'll probably add in some parks as well. Industrial seems to be still a little on the high end. So we might need to come up here and kind of fill in another area of some industrial zoning. Looks like we've got a bunch of uh, traffic coming from the uh, other industrial area. And a lot of these post office trucks are coming over here, getting uh, mail that's coming in off the train. But I kind of want to get rid of this section. So maybe next time we'll add a little bit more out here. Uh, potentially add in a few more roads to kind of spread out whatever area we're going to call this over here. But I think that's going to have to wait till next time. Thank you all for watching. I appreciate you guys for being here. Look forward to seeing you guys again in city skylines we got a giant backup that we got to deal with at some point but as always i hope you guys have yourselves a spectacular day oh, yeah.